Chandrayaan 3 uh, is uh, right now in the uh, sleep mode, the lander as well as rover. And uh, as you know that on 4th September, uh, after their, uh, when they had uh, completed their observations, uh, sun set on the moon and one more cycle of sunrise and sunset has happened. So last 4 October, uh, sun has set again. In between, ISRO has tried its uh, uh, hard to uh, somehow wake up the uh, two uh, observatories, but that has not happened. So uh, originally also uh, we were thinking that uh, there may be only 1% chance, but uh, this seems to be the case that uh, they are now in the permanent sleep mode. So uh, the next uh, sunrise is on uh, 19th October, and uh, on 20th uh, evening Indian Standard Time sometime, the sun will rise, uh, reach uh, an elevation of about 6 degrees, after which uh, ISRO might uh, try once again uh, to wake the two observatories up. In case that happens, that will be really a miracle. But uh, so far as uh, the existing situation is concerned, uh, both the observatories have done their best and they have provided sufficient uh, data uh, to ISRO. ISRO scientists had predicted, you know, they had actually engineered it to work for one uh, moon day. So, you know, it has done justice to whatever we've done. And also, uh, you know, when we engineer these components and when we, uh, you know, work on it, we exactly know whether this will, you know, be, uh, this one's life will be extended or no. So in that uh, case, uh, you know, we have... Uh, um, you know, reach the moon as economical as possible. So reaching moon as economical as possible, soft landing, finding minerals, the rover moving on the moon's surface. I think we've done everything, you know, whatever the objectives that were predicted or that was given by ISRO. I think everything is being, you know, tick. Everything has been checklisted and ticked. So this was a bonus. See, science is something that we don't, you know, be, we are not satisfied with just one particular thing. Okay.